Right, these, these two are reasonably complicated. Um, what we've got first of all is a half, and that's to the power of uh, minus one, okay? So what we'll do with that, first of all, with that minus sign, what we're going to do is whatever's inside this bracket, I'm going to put down to the denominator. So what we have is one on the top, and then whatever's in the bracket, one up and two, and what I'll do with that is, I'll put that to the power of 1, okay? All that really looks like is 1 all over a half. And what that really means is 1 divided by a half. So let's write that out like you would normally see it. So 1 divided by a half. And then if you think about how we do that type of work, what we do is we flip flip over the, the, the second fraction and we change the divide side to times. Right, so what I've got is I've got 1. I'm going to flip and change it okay or you take the reciprocal of the second fraction and you change the, t the divide to a, to a multiplying sign okay then so 1 times 2 over 1 will leave me with 2 over 1 and that should just give me a straight answer of 2 okay so there's my final answer for that question there okay so the last one last question so we've got 1 eighth to the power of 4 over 3 okay so first thing that I'm going to do with that is that uh, there's one of the properties that we can use and for this one here I'm going to put 1 to the power of 4 over 3 and I'll put 8 on the bottom to the power of 4 over 3 so what I can do is whatever power that is I can put it on the top and put it on the bottom I can split it out okay so what I have here is I've got the cube root of 1 to the power of 4 on the bottom I've got the cube root of 8 to the power of 4 okay so working out the top what we have is cube root of 1 well that'll be 1 times 1 times 1 will give me 1 and then 1 to the power of 4 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is going to be 1 as well so there's a 1 on the top there the cube root of 8 well that's going to give me 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 is going to give me um, 8 so I put a 2 at the bottom and I've got to put that to the power of 4 so 2 to the power of 4, and leaving it as a fraction, is going to be 1 all over 16. So that again is going to be my final answer for that question there. So what we've done is we've gone through 26 questions. Um, so, so these ones are worth having a look at. One of them may be in your exam. Um, hopefully it's not as complicated with a negative number on it. Um, and not too complicated with a fraction inside the bracket. Um, good luck, good luck with these types of questions, good luck with your studying for National 5 and um, th this hopefully has helped you out.